Good morning. Hi, KubeCon. I'm Shirley Bales, and I lead software open ecosystem strategy at Intel. And I'm here today to talk to you about an open source project that Intel contributed to the Linux Foundation AI and data community. It's called Open Platform for Enterprise AI, or OPA. That's OPIA. OPIA is an industry-wide effort, and you can see a number of partners on the screen here. It provides microservice recipes for building cloud-native generative AI applications, helping you simplify the development, production, and adoption of generative AI in the enterprise. We're going to walk through an example application with the help of a couple of friends. So you might recognize these lovable characters, Fippy and Goldie, and they love attending CNCF events. They want to know what's all the fun things that are going on at KubeCon in Salt Lake City this week. They're pretty tech savvy, and they want to use AI to generate an answer. Now, as KubeCon is well underway, there's no, no time to actually train a model on the event schedule, so, and that would really just be way too expensive. So we're going to need to use retrieval augmented generation, also known as RAG, to inject some fresh knowledge into a large language model called an LLM. Let's see how it works. To create a chat plus Q&A RAG application, we first need a knowledge base, somewhere to begin with. And in this case, we're going to use a conference schedule. We're going to feed the text from the conference site into the app to serve as our knowledge base. We then extract the copy, we'll break it into, phrase, into phrases, and then extract the phrases into vectors. The vectors will then populate a vector database, and what you see here is a knowledge base for the RAG. When Fippy actually asks Goldie, what are some fun things that we can do at KubeCon this week, the application then transforms the question into these vectors. A retriever then searches the database for the related data, and the question and context are then injected into the LLM. It augments the answer generation. The model then generates an answer for Fippy and Goldie. So we've got RAG, again, that's retrieve, augment, and generate. So here are the some events that kicked off the week, and props to those of you who went to the House of Cube last night and also made it to the run at 7 a.m. this morning. If you set out to build a chat service with RAG like this, you're probably going to be overwhelmed. There's dozens of vector databases out there, um, Redis, Milvis, Chroma, and you would need to choose between a variety of embedding models, which are responsible for converting those texts into numbers. And lastly, you then need to choose an LLM and decide between a closed model, such as OpenAI, or perhaps an open source model that you could run locally, like Mistral or Falcon. The options are overwhelming. There are no standard pipelines. There's no standard or a repeatable foundation in, in helping bring all this together in a scalable application. So how do we make it easier for enterprises to actually build effective, secure, generative AI applications rapidly and with confidence? This is where OPIA comes in. The project's goal is to standardize AI development with microservices-based recipes that you can use. With OPA's chat Q&A recipe, Fippy and Goldie could build an LLM with a retrieval RAG application. By treating each part of the end-to-end -end application as a composable microservice, you have the freedom to choose any microservice that you want, which helps with deployment and avoids vendor lock-in. Those microservices that we just saw came together to form a containerized, um, a chat Q&A containerized application, and Fippy and Goldie used that to build their application. Today, Opia has chat Q&A plus 20 other recipes ready for use. There's audio Q&A, there's um, visual Q&A, code gen, and there's lots more on the roadmap. Each of these applications can generate a Helm chart that helps you orchestrate in Kubernetes, Applications deploy as production-ready containers for Kubernetes, and they can run on-prem, in the cloud, or on the edge. As an open source project, OPA relies on contributions from individuals like you and partners across the industry to create and test each component. We've been working with multiple cloud providers to build the best experience possible. So, Yet another QR code, but please check out the OPA Getting Started Guide on GitHub. Um, it's filled with loads and loads of open source recipes that you can use to build cloud-native generative AI applications for chat, code generation, QA and, Q &A, and so much more. So if you've got questions and would like to learn more, please come find us at the Intel booth in the Expo Hall. We're in G5. 
Thanks for your time today. Say hi to Fippy and Goldie. Enjoy KubeCon.